Rare earth minerals lie underneath North Dakota's land, and these minerals are incredibly valuable, especially with present-day technology. So why aren't we mining them? Why do we buy these same minerals from China and Russia, countries that are not even our allies? Adrian Oglesby uncovers why. Rare earth elements or minerals are a part of a 15 to 17 group of elements in the periodic table known as the lanthanide series. But why are they important? Well, these metals have unusual fluorescent, conductive, and magnetic properties which make them very useful when mixed in small quantities with more common metals such as iron. They're always found together. You don't really find them separately. And so in North Dakota, we have all of those groups, and then we have a num number of other critical minerals, germanium and gallium as well, that are used in semiconductors. And where North Dakota's lignite really sets it apart is we have a lot of the more valuable, some of the magnet-making rare earths, as well as those um, semiconductor metal, germanium and gallium in our lignite, and that that's where I think the the key opportunity lies. These minerals, however, are not mined in North Dakota, but they are mined in other countries on a more industrial scale. But why are we so hesitant on mining them here? Critical mining minerals are defined by the U.S. government as a mineral required for national or economic security, which are found in a restricted environment with limited competitors that are vulnerable to disruption. What are we doing today with such rare minerals under our surface? Our mind, it's primarily China and Russia that mine the vast majority of those elements. There is some mining that's done in the United States for um, the rare earths in California, but the processing is still done in China. And then in the germanium and gallium, um, there's a little bit produced in the United States, but it's primarily focused in um, once again, those adversarial nations. According to the European Union, China and Russia run the world's market in both geranium and gallium at almost 90 percent of the market. Throwing it back to the 80s, the United States used to be the global producer in rare earth minerals, he tells us. But then a number of policies were put into place on the federal level, especially focusing on the environment and mining these elements stopped almost overnight. So hypothetically speaking, what if we were to mine here again? We do look at how we can make these rare earths in in the in the U.S. How can we mine? How where are they? How can we mine them? How can we best recover them? And how do we best make products with them? And so UND's research on on the rare earths critical minerals area is more focused primarily on how extracting them from our resource and getting them. For us, we're looking at lignite. We found significant quantities of rare earths and. Um, those, those two other elements I mentioned, the germanium and gallium in lignite, in the North Dakota lignite. And so we're what we've been working is developing a technology to extract those, recover those from that lignite into a pure form that would then be usable for um, manufacturing with them. How foreseeable would this be in our near future? The Department of Energy um, currently has a, a solicitation they just uh, sent out. We're, we're looking at building a commercial demonstration facility here in the next three years or starting to build one. And this that would produce, in essence, on the neighborhood of 300 to 1,000 tons of rare earths per year. The University of North Dakota did apply for the solicitation. He says by focusing in on active mines and coal-based mining, lignite, for example, this can be a reality for the U.S. and North Dakota within only a few years. Our state could provide a significant portion of the U.S.'s demand that we are currently relying on other countries for. Reporting for KX News, I'm Adrian Oglesby. Rare earth minerals can be found in almost all our electronics, clean energy devices, aerospace machines, and cars. Manufacturing plants across North Dakota also use permanent magnets, which is the single largest and most important in use for rare earth minerals, accounting for 29% of the materials. And again, according to the state, these minerals can be found right here in North Dakota.